According to CLSI, the order in which tubes should be filled is the same whether using a tube holder or syringe. First, sterile blood culture tubes or vials. Second, blue stopper sodium citrate tubes. Third, serum tube with or without clot activator or gel separator. Fourth, heparin or green stopper tubes. Fifth, lavender stopper EDTA tubes. Sixth, gray top or glycolytic inhibitor tubes. Although this order is recommended, some facilities have modified this order based on internal studies and variables unique to their system. Therefore, follow your facility's established protocol. It's been widely documented that the needle piercing a tube stopper can transfer one tube's additive into the next. Even a minute amount can drastically alter test results on the subsequent tube if randomly filled. Following the prescribed order of draw doesn't prevent additive carryover, but makes it irrelevant because of the nature of testing generally performed on each tube. Of course, we all know the reason we have to follow the recommended order of draw is because additives can carry over from one tube to the next and significantly alter the test results of the subsequent tube. This happens when the needle pierces the stopper, uh, it comes in contact with the blood additive mixture of the filled tube, and when the needle is removed and another stopper is pierced in the next tube, that additive mixture can carry over and contaminate the contents uh, of the next tube. For example, if we're drawing an EDTA tube out of the order, and uh, because EDTA is high in potassium by nature, we could be inadvertently spiking the test results if that second tube is to be tested for potassium. And if that patient happens to be low in potassium and we draw that EDTA tube in the wrong order, it can add enough EDTA to the subsequent tube that is tested for potassium to make the test results uh, reflect that the patient has a normal level of potassium. Now this can be pretty disastrous for a patient who is being cleared for surgery who shouldn't really go to surgery because their potassium is too low.